this is Mandy, and I'm here with my sister Laura. And we are back with another another double range. So, are you ready to tell everybody what we're going to do about today, sis? The rant today is about gaming. Well, video games and gaming not being considered a job. Yes. I mean, like, just because of the fact you see somebody holding a controller and sitting in front of the TV, you instantly think that somebody being lazy, like people are not getting paid to do something, it'll be like, oh, you need to do something more constructive with your life. But did you know that gaming, you can actually get paid tons and tons of money, but people always sleep on gaming saying that you can't get a job, that is a lie. No. To me, in, 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 in general, if you're getting paid for it, it's a job. Pretty much. It don't matter what. Mm -hmm. if, even if it's not a nine to five job, sitting behind a computer, sitting behind a desk, whatever the fuck the case may be. Exactly. You're still getting, it, you're still getting money. Right? Exactly. Think about all the YouTubers, the famous YouTubers. Or YouTube that's doing it. Yeah. They get paid the big bucks. I mean, a lot of money. Mm -hmm. That's for playing it. Yeah, and then the fact that they saying that gaming is not considered a real job. Yes, it is. Like I said, so what if you're sitting in front of a computer monitor? So what if you're sitting in front of a TV? People are legit watching. There are people really watching you do it. And, and think about the world we're living in now. COVID. Exactly. People, a lot of people working remotely from home. So that's one way of doing it. Uh -huh. And as long as you still get paid, they don't matter. So you can't sit down and you'll sit there and say, oh, that's not a real job. No. Again, you making that paper, it's a job. Hey, basically. People are always so quick to crap all over gaming because they think that people don't have no lives and, people, and they quick to call people nerds and stuff like that and quick to criticize people who play games. But last time I tried playing games kept a lot of people off the streets and kept them from being in trouble. So I don't know what's the problem. Like people always seem to make gaming a problem. It is not a problem. It comes out. It comes off as a negative thing. It comes off as a negative recreational thing. Uh -huh. And if you think about it, there's way more worse things in the world going on than that. Exactly. I'll tell you that right now. Mm -hmm. So like gaming is a job, especially if people giving you the money to pay it, if they telling you to do something online for it, then yeah, it is a job. You getting paid to play with you, you getting paid to play something that you like playing. Sometimes people will choose for you to see how good you are, to test your limits, to see if you can handle the levels, whether it be medium hard, si si simple or easy or whatever. They try to test your skill and your knowledge. That's something, that's something good. That's something to really think about. That's pretty cool if you ask me. That's yeah, a job. It is. That is a job. So I don't know why people sleeping on that. Because they don't. <laughs> Dumb, judgmental bastards. Yeah, pretty much. Yeah, I said. <laughs> okay, who's coming? Bless it. Um, so yeah, like, don't sleep on gaming because if you, um, if you do that then you, you know better than the people that stay here trying to judge everybody else. Don't do that. Right. So, what do you think? Yeah, that's me. That's it. Yeah, um, yes. Um, like, this show the receipt. I got the money in this. But yeah, that's about it. But it, I think that pretty much covers that it. Covers short, it. That covers it in short street to the point. So... If you enjoyed this rant, give it a thumbs up, like, comment, and subscribe to Easter Ring Amanda for more content and more like Butterfly News. I'm sorry, I'm distracted right now. <laughs> thank you guys. Yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. And that's the end of our rant.